Hey, what is up guys, Bongo here. Today I'm going to be showing you a very, very advanced way to transpose MIDI in Cakewalker Band Lab. It takes a couple minutes to set this up, but once you actually do get it set up, it is so, so easy. Let me explain how it works. I'm like literally going to be showing you in this video how to take out your up arrow. When you hit your up arrow, it transposes your MIDI up by like one semitone, for example. Or if you make it, so you hit shift up arrow, then it transposes up by an octave. Once you, once you have it all set it up, it's going to totally change your workflow because it's going to make MIDI transposing so, so much easier. Let's get into it. Woo! Okay, so I opened up this project right here and it's entirely MIDI. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire thing and then I'm gonna hit shift up arrow and then it goes up by one semitone. I can go shift down arrow, one, one semitone down. I can, I can just keep spamming the up arrow and just keeps going up. And if you wanna see in the MIDI view, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do shift up arrow, moves it up, shift down arrow, moves it down. And also if you wanna see here, I'm gonna hit control shift up arrow and it's gonna go like this, ready? Up an octave. Down or octave. Once you get it all set up, you're not gonna wanna go back to any other system. Okay, so there's YouTuber x.e.l.o, and he makes really good kickoff videos. They're actually very similar to mine, making beats, making videos. I recommend checking him out in the description. In one of his most recent videos, he just like off the cuff mentioned this way to transpose MIDI up and down by one semitone by just clicking one button. So although his system works natively, I'm gonna show you one that takes about three minutes to set up. But once you do have it set up, it's gonna work for everything. So when I was first finding problems with this system, I thought about using a cow function. If you don't know what a cow function is, basically if you have like a MIDI thing in front of you, what you can actually do is you can apply a code script to it and then that line of code will actually run and it will affect the MIDI in certain ways. You can find cal functions by hitting process, run cal, and then there are quite a few ones in here like strum it, um, swing, vary velocity, humanize, legato. So those are pretty useful cal functions but there isn't one for transposing MIDI up by one semitone or up by an octave. So I did some research and apparently you can actually code your own cal functions. So that's why I did. I have four cal functions that I want you to download in the description. Go in the link in the description. You can download those four cal functions that I put together for you. I was just doing some research on how to use cal functions and I came across this guy named S Cook who actually posted the code for one of the cal functions to make things prantles up by an octave. So this S Cook guy actually wrote the entire code for me and I just had to figure out how to implement it into Cakewalk. So basically if there's a cal function you want to use, you want to go on your desktop and you want to right click somewhere and go to new text document. And then I copy in all of the information here. So now that we have all the code written in, we go file, save as, octave up dot text. And then, but then I want to change this from text document to all files and then change the dot text at the back to dot cow. Then if it's save, now all of a sudden we got this cow function right here that we can actually use in Cakewalk. But if you download those things from the description, this is where you're going to come in. Go to process, run cow. And then this folder is going to come up and this is where all of your cow functions are located. So I want you to click on this top little bar up here where it's actually the address of this folder. Click there, hit control C. That way you copy the address and then click up here in this top, hit control V and then hit enter to find this folder. And then this folder right here is where you're going to want to copy your things in. So then you can just drag your cal function into this folder and then you're good to go. So now at this point, what you can do is you can select all your stuff, go to process, run cal, then click on like down one, for example, hit enter, and then transfer all your stuff down by one. But obviously you're going to want to do faster than that. So what I want you to do is hit P in your keyboard and then hit advanced down here. So you're not in basic mode anymore. You're in advanced mode and then go down here to keyword shortcuts. So you can really bind these cal functions to any key on your keyboard. But if you want to do it like me, what I want to do is, is hit locate key, hit shift up arrow. And then it's gonna bring you to the shift up arrow, which is the one I use for up one cow. And then go in the search over here and type in up and then you're gonna see it. So on the left side, click shift up and the right side hit up one and then hit bind. And then those two are gonna to be together. So every time you hit shift up arrow, up arrow, it's gonna immediately run that cow function. Now hit locate key, shift down arrow, down one. And then bind those two together and then do that also for control shift up arrow and control shift down arrow for the octave ones. And just like that, everything's synced up and now you can actually transpose things right on the fly, super easy. So I was saying earlier that this one has more versatility than X dots. And here's what I mean by that. If you're in this main view, so you see all of your tracks all together and you select them all and then hit A in your keyboard, it actually doesn't transpose things up by one. But if you go into the MIDI view and then you select what you want to do and then hit A on your keyboard, then it transposes it up by one. So just the main problem I have with that is that it wouldn't transpose in this main view, which is usually where I do my transposing. Like let's say my 808 isn't sitting right, I just select everything and I go down by one or up by one. The eight and the two might be helpful if you're doing like MIDI editing, but if you're doing like grand scheme of things, changing the key, then it's not that helpful. Now, despite me saying all these things, there is one final fault with this method that it doesn't actually work with audio. X dots method and my method does not work with audio. For example, if we listen to this, Obviously everything's in the same key. And then if I select everything, go shift up an arrow and then listen to the end. 
it's clearly in a different key. So this is the very last method to transposing things. What you can also do is you can go to process, transpose, and then type in a number. Let's say you want to type in one and then hit OK. Then it's going to transpose their MIDI and the audio. But you can also do this using keyboard shortcuts. So for example, I chose Shift Q to be my keyboard shortcut to be used with process transpose. And then what I can do is I can select everything. I can go Shift Q on my keyboard and then it opens up this transpose window and then I hit my number that I want to use, like let's say one and then hit OK. Now that method is a little bit slower, but it technically is the most inclusive way. And you can, you can do it in any view. You can also do it with MIDI and audio. But the little up and down arrow thing, I'm definitely going to be using that in the future. I cannot wait to get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button. I'm gonna leave me a comment if this helped you. Make sure you check out XDOT's channel in the description. He's definitely a good YouTuber and I, he's a really nice guy. Show him some love for me. Say bong on some set you. See you guys later. See you guys next week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Live stream several times a week. See you guys later. Woo!